Hola! <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Lori Marie. I'm a mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I just have to giggle because uh, how do you spell rabbit hole? <laughs> Jackie got a hold of me and asked me if I would create a junk journal for her. Everybody knows I'm purging right now, so there's lots of junk journal material to play with. So seemed like a great idea. And I got going on one journal. Then that took me to another journal. And then that took me to uh, yet another journal. So the first two journals that you will see are actually not Jackie's. Uh, Jackie is <laughs> receiving the third one, the fabric journal, which I have uh, an unsupervised class for that 101 and 102. I had a uh, tapestry here that I had made a few years ago um, and so I cut that up and sewed that into the fabric um, journal. Very fun. I'm very, very happy with it. But uh, what a rabbit hole I went down. Jeez! Jeez, all of a sudden I was doing a transfer and I was just sewing pages and on and on and on. So anyway, this is about three junk journals. So we will call it the rabbit hole video, which is so fun. Uh, we have been very busy here. If you are part of the Underpants Club, I have been posting um, art that I'm selling for $10, $15, $20, all the way up to $200. So I'm posting uh, videos every couple of days, I guess, on under, uh, in the Underpants Club, which is $1.99 to join that. $1.99 a month to join the Underpants Clubs. Small little clips of uh, what we're doing around here. <laughs> Pulling our hair out. <laughs> Getting ready for Costa Rica. Jeez! Um, anyway, I have a bunch of art that I'm selling there. But I encourage you, if you have seen me create anything on the screen and you think I might still have it, or you think I might not still have it, please let me know. Um, I can look and see if I do have it. And then, uh, if I do, we'll talk about a price. So, everything must go. Uh, even Rob's art and even Rob's uh, handcrafted furniture. So, if you've ever been here or been on a tour with us through the house, um, yeah, his furniture is for sale also. Can't take it with you, I hear. <laughs> So those people that have ordered uh, or paid for some artwork, most of it is on its way. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the support. Uh, I'm very excited to announce that we are going to have a face-to-face -face workshop on Saturday, December 18th. At it's all about the scrapbook. I have the address here, I think, 1670 North Lincoln Street in Dixon, Dixon, California. December 18th from 10 until 5. We're going to be playing with the Unacara con Mariposas, uh, which will be fun face-to-face. -face. I'm so excited. I don't have the information to um, my website guru yet, but I will, and then that will be on the website, and you can sign up there. Uh, I think it's $70 for the day, So, but it'll be on the website. The facts, baby. The facts will be on the website. All right, very, very exciting times right now. Uh, thank you for being patient with not so many videos right now, but, but today's rabbit hole, you get three. <laughs> okay, see you on the table. Okay, so this is our project for today. Uh, one junk journal, very fun. We'll do a quick little walk through. This is with a transfer on fabric. Here's the fabric that I used with some uh, distress ink to kind of uh, grunge it up. And then I added, this is a three hole binding, nothing fancy, uh, and a bunch of assorted papers from my paper drawer so that I can get rid of things, wallpaper, music paper, old papers, upside down papers, just about everything. Da. Very, very fun. All right, and I waxed the front, which was fun. I 
pages are bulky, hanging out. Love that. And a little bit of a twist and a tie there. So that is junk journal number one. Junk journal number one. Fini. Junk journal number two. I loved this cover, so I saved the cover. I had some leather ties, leather thongs, actually. Uh, vintage fabric. And in this book, I did add a little something to most of the pages, which was fun. This was a great way to uh, continue to purge my goodies. Pocket. Pocket. You know it wasn't dry, <laughs> so a lot of the little pieces are stuck together. Eventually they won't be. All right, there is junk journal number two. And here is the final book for today's video. This is um, the fabric book that I taught. Um, some of us have taken that class 101 and 102. It's available online as well. Uh, some of these pages are in the instructions in the unsupervised class. Um, I had a banner on my wall and I cut it up and I put it in this book. Let's see if I can get the whole book in here. If I go through the book too fast, just slow the video down, okay, so that you can see everything. This is some of my slow stitch. I think I'm all on screen. These are some of the collages that we did in class. Pretty amazing. It is a fabric book. It is a canvas book, so you'll see a lot of stitching, add-ons with stitchings, which is very fun. That's from the banner. That's from the banner. Tossed some little tags in there for Jackie to play with. You can kind of tell what's from the, the banner. There's space for her to play in the book. I didn't cover everything. I did add lots of goodies, though. This is from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. This is from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> That's fun. This is a pocket. This is a village. Doors open. Windows open. kinds of stuff going on in there. From the banner. And 
And that is it. Plenty of room for Jackie to play. It's a big one. Look at that. Oh, I love it. All right. So those are the three junk journals that we're going to visit a little bit of each one in the video today. Good morning, dark o'clock. Slept in a little bit, actually, but it is still dark. Um, I'm going to start playing with a junk journal. It's a great way to purge my drawers. Purge my drawers. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, and I have some paper and some wallpaper. The wallpaper I am using to make things a little bit more sturdy on the pages. So I'm just gluing it right in the center where the binding is going to be. So each one will have a flap of the wallpaper. I think that will be kind of fun. This was sturdy enough, so I don't need wallpaper there. This is vintage wallpaper, can you tell? Oh, we've already made a pocket here. So I'm going to go through all of my pages, and the fragile ones I will add the wallpaper to. This is sturdy enough. This is sturdy enough. Actually, I'm going to turn that over. Don't want to cover any of the... Oh, let's go ahead and just glue the whole wallpaper down. That'll be fun. So it's a junk journal. So clean out your drawers and have fun. Good morning, Hudson. All right, I have all of the pages reinforced that need it. I'm going to bring in my card and gesso and put a light coating of gesso on the pages in case people want to write. And we'll let that dry. And I'm just going to stack them on top of each other because I don't care if they rip a little bit. All right, this is a beautiful book cover. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pages out by cutting it there. So I cut the front and the back and removed all the pages. I have this vintage cloth my last piece of it, which is so yummy. I'm going to glue this down with a strong adhesive like tacky glue. Just smear it all on the inside here, here, and here, and then put the fabric down. This is a great time to bring out your rice bag. Put that on here. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And we'll let that adhesive dry. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> All right, I have the yummy book cover, the yummy vintage material. And I have three signatures. I think there's about six in each signature. So I am going to go with that. I will take a signature. 
So when I go to bind this, I need to make sure that the binding is within this page, that height. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this. Oh, missed one. <laughs> Alright, so we have three signatures. One, two, and three. Bring in a ruler. Let's see if we can divide that into thirds, dot there, dot there, dot there, you know I like them wonky, dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there, Dot there, and dot there. We'll try that, huh? We're going to install the center one first. Poke a hole through the fabric and through the spine. And the top hole fabric and spine. And fabric and spine. Now we will make a mark where the hole should be. Right there. Right there. And right there, bring the all in. Put that into place. All right, everybody remember these reinforcers? <laughs> yeah, I do. So I'm putting these around the holes. A, because I could use the reinforcement. B, because I think they're very fun. All right, I'm going to bring in some twine, blunt nose needle with a big eye. Big eye, mate. Let's 
start on the outside. Leave a bit of a tail. Go to the top or the bottom, doesn't matter which. Go through those papers and the hole. Go to whichever one is left, the top or the bottom. Go back out the center hole. Pull nice and tight. Make sure you have a, one string on either side. You can add beads, doubles, bubbles, whatever you want to that, which is very fun. And let's go to the next signature. We'll go to the back signature. We're going to do the same thing. Bring it in, mark the dots, clip it into place, make the holes, and bind it. Okay? All right, here's the gorgeous spine, green leather, green leather twine, um, braided them together, tied them, and I am going to go through here and add some fun bits and pieces from my desk that I have set aside to go into this junk journal. That'll be fun. The work is done. Now it's time to play. So I have a whole stack of this is and that's. <laughs> And I'm going to go through here and add some fun stuff to these pages. All right, you get the idea. I'm going to put something on each page. Uh, how fun. All right, I'll bring you back and show you later. I'm going to start another one. And I am going to put some um, underpants on the inside cover to get this to be a little sturdier. Printer's alive. Use up some of my underpants. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, I started off making one junk journal. 
Um, <laughs> now I have three junk journals. So it's just been a lovely exercise in purging and using what you have. Um, this was the transfer on the cloth. Uh, it is going to be just fine. I wanted to... <laughs> my, my desk! <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to bring you back and show you that the transfer is going to be wonderful. I won't make you watch all the... Uh, rubbing. <laughs> so let me take off this paper by rubbing it. It did uh, dry overnight so it's on there well and uh, and I'll bring you back. All right. <laughs> I've got the uh, transfer done. He's gorgeous. I'm going to bring in some vintage photo distress ink. everything up a little bit. And I'll get ready to put some pages in this junk journal. How fun. And then maybe I'll clean up. <laughs> maybe. All right, I'm going to bring in Dorland's Wax Medium and a paper towel. Grab a little bit of wax. And I am going to polish the front of this book with some wax. That will get rid of any of the leftover cloudiness, which is awesome. So we played with three junk journals. This has fabric on the outside and a transfer. This, I maintained the uh, cover of the book because it's so gorgeous. I put fabric, vintage fabric, on the inside and can't help but fringe it. Uh, and then lots of goodies. And then a fabric book that is going off to Jackie. Your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.